Shot. I lead uh, R&D and regulatory here at Alanco. I think of myself first as probably a husband, then a father, then an employee, sort of in that order. So I'm married to a beautiful woman named Pam. We've been together for 25 years, going on 26 this year. Uh, we've got three kids. My oldest is a 23-year-old son who just turned 23 yesterday. Uh, my next son is 20, and he's a, a sophomore at Purdue. And then my daughter's 17, and she's a junior in high school. Spending time with family, that's going to be one. I think um, separately, what would Aaron be doing individually? Two things, probably. One is I like doing work around the house. Um, so I'm, I'm an odd jobber. I like doing small projects on my property and the landscape. And then uh, maybe three things. The second thing I like to do is golf. We live in a golf community, and so it's not too hard to jump on the golf cart and drive and golf nine holes. Not very good, but I enjoy it a lot. And then finally, I've got a small pond in my backyard, a lot like this one. Um, where I like to fish, um, and it's, they're not a lot of fish in there, but but uh, the, the ones that I catch, I'm really proud of. Yeah, so I have two dogs. Um, we have a, uh, they're both um, poodle Chinese mixes. So one is a Lhasa Apso uh, poodle mix. He, he's all white, his name is Obi, and he's sort of tall and thin. And then the other is a uh, Shih Tzu poodle mix, um, Oliver, and he's sort of, uh, he's all black, and he's sort of short and fat. So it's a little bit of a, a, a Oliver and Hardy uh, kind of mix between our dogs and they have different personalities but they're like best friends and brothers and and they come obviously from uh, different litters and different parents but uh, uh, they're great dogs. I brought a picture of my father this is Lyman Schott. Um, my dad passed away about uh, seven years ago and um, this is him um, fishing in a trout stream that he grew up fishing in in Minnesota. He grew up in Minnesota and this was a trout stream nearby where he loved to fish and this was the last time he fished there. And when we took the picture, when I took the picture, I didn't, I didn't think at that time this would be the last time I'd see him doing this. Um, and so this is a really um, important memory for me. As I reflected on my life, I really look back and all of the important times I fished, it's always been with him and not been about fishing, it's been about being with the master. As I think about the business in the, in the direction it's evolving, there are, there are three areas probably where a, a decade from now, we're gonna look back and said, those were really three important areas where uh, animal health companies with an innovation focus differentiate themselves. One area is, is companion animal therapeutics. Um, we're in an era where, um, you know, the practice of medicine on the human side is, I think, so far advanced relative to veterinary care, but all, a lot of those technologies will directly apply. So we have a great opportunity to sample from the best ideas that have developed over, you know, really, the last three decades on the human side and really make them relevant in veterinary medicine. Two other areas, just quickly. One is the microbiome. So what's going on in the gut of an animal? Last area is going to be vaccines. For Elanco, it's a great opportunity for us to really forge a, a direction forward, um, pick our spots where we can have a differentiating impact relative to the big players in the space. And uh, I think the science, again, is ripening in a way where we have opportunity to leapfrog some of what's out there. And I'm excited about what we'll be able to do in that space as well. The, I love the environment of industrial research and the laboratory setting. But, but more importantly, probably what I learned is what it takes to put together a, a really world-class R&D program that creates distinctive products with unique value for the customers. And, and just the whole value chain of research and development is what drives me. I believe Elanco will win because uh, first we have a very inspired mission. What we do solves fundamental problems of, of humanity and society and will forever need um, our solutions to those problems and advancing solutions to those problems. We'll win because we've got a workforce uh, who's committed to that mission. I would not rather be anywhere else in animal health than in Elanco right now.